likely. The one thing I will say, if Mouse Balls do go through, I expect them to do better in the best of threes in Space sure. Rogers yep. would. So that, if I'm looking purely from that point of view, I'd prefer them to go through, if you will. But Space Soldiers would be very happy for them to make it through at the very same time. Major we'll in his first major. Exactly. Force into Varma. One smoke is going to be a B side attack. There's a smoke going in. They're going to be going for a contact play. Look at Sticker. He's very far back. The smoke goes towards short. Flash over, Sticker won't be able to do much about this. Christian goes down first. What a play from Major. He has been playing exceptionally in this tournament so far. A double headshot to kick open that B bomb site. And now a five versus three begins. Oscar trying to find a shot toward the windows. Didn't quite get the kill, gets damage. Still gonna have to play the retake, and Major swings out. Good start. Goes further on Karas to take down. Sonny and Paz on the Rops. Paz is another player that's come onto my radar. Major's played well. We've touched on him. Kallax and Zontaras are stars in their own right, but Paz has looked really solid this event. They they all are very good individual fra fraggers, exceptionally. So it's going to be, there's Kallax on your screen right now. He'll be one of the names who I'm sure will be reporting back on a lot. Now Sports now. No force by, from what I can see, they get upgraded pistols. Only Rops gets the armor. So they're trying to keep things a little bit more modest. Look at the bigger picture here. I think that's wise. It's the best of one environment. Make sure your money's strong. Win out on the gun rounds. That's always going to be the best way to operate. Trying to force the issue every single round and spend all your money. It's going to come back and bite you in the end. They are the better team, technically. Um, they've got a lot more notoriety in terms of the events they've attended, the success they've had in 2017. Space Soldiers at their first ever major here. AKs. Out in full force, three of them. Santeros, Major, and Paz. Calix of the UMP and Engine with the Mac 10. So, Bomb very intentionally left. Of course, you to see if there will be any aggression. Maybe we're watching that. Meanwhile, Paz investigates. Now, go back. Don't want mouse sports willing to overextend. Already a much slower pace to these yes. rounds than what we had in the last game, that's for sure. Just to reiterate, this is the very final game of the day. One spot remaining. It's the very final stage in the studio. Yes, that's right. One spot remaining in the final round of eight. The legend status will be granted to either mouse sports or space soldiers. Uh, is one step closer, taking down Rops, five on four. Remember, this wasn't much of a buy. Invested in some pretty pistols. Oscar, though, makes his mark in round number two. Finds a couple. Sticko chiming in as well. All of a sudden, this looks possible. Very possible. That deal menacing inside the side as well. They don't want Cross to put it down because they still have Sonny looking that direction. So Nades will suffice instead. Puts in three. Should be enough, but look out. Sticko takes Calix. Still on 12. Majors collected it. Just to note, Henry, last year we were here for the E-League Atlanta Major, and Atlanta Falcons were in the Super Bowl. They lost. Now we're going to Boston, and the New England Patriots, who play out of Marlboro, outside of Boston, are in the finals, so maybe they're going to lose. Yeah. I wish I could really join you on those ones. I don't know anything about it's them. It's fine. Just smile and nod. Yes. But I do agree. That does sound interesting. 2-0. USPs, CZs, I oh, was so close that the Major delivers once more. Santero has a crack open the A site, but it was Oscar. They got mass sports around. This is why I hate B rushes, Matt. I talk about this a lot. Rushing B on an EK rounds, you just don't know what you're getting yourself into, and then running into the Lions Den, it's going to get really awkward here. Why would you rush B? Play the default. Three on three, they might recover this. The bomb didn't commit. As Paz. Do whatever he can here, and you can see this is why you don't do it. This is such an important round. You might think it's an easy situation but it can fall apart very quickly as Sticko he gets stuck in as well Zantara is the last player remaining luckily the bomb did not get given to the CTs there lucky as ever they were close last round someone's correct me it's Foxborough not Marlboro Marlboro's down the road oh there you go Foxborough is where the IEO arena is as well IEO or EO or whatever and Gillette is where they play or used to be I don't know what it's called it's not that great of a sport Zantara's he'll swing in this is crazy that both these rounds against very little weapons very little opposition in that regard has come so close. Bodes well for mouse sports once we get into the gun rounds, you'd think. It certainly does in terms of keeping the economy honest for space soldiers. 
Guys could find Steeper jumping inside of the site, looking desperately for information. He's going to commit to the plant as well. He's got just enough time to do it before Oscar would be on his case. But Oscar's sneaking in, still with that MAC-10 as well. No kit, no armor, but he's got the jump on Zontaras. Ooh, and NKJ, the coach of Mouse Sports, is loving it. Isn't that LMB? Lambert, you're right, I'm sorry. I didn't want to steal the moment from you, it's fine. but it is right. Um, that's that space soldier's given that round up. I can't. You must know this, Matt. The amount of times I've said to you, do not rush B when against Folika. Regardless what you think's on the other side, you should just not do that. It's a really bad move. Sure, most of the time it'll work out and it'll look fine, but that one time you go in and they've stacked B, you look like such a plum, and th they're going to be tilted off that one against a full eco and one B and one CZ and USPs. There's no need for it. Run a default, get some intel. Throw a Mac 10 in first if you have to. You can sacrifice one player. And uh, this is the kind of experience that space soldiers need to pick up from these events. They will force buy in this round, a similar buy from what we saw from Vegas Squadron, remember? Three MAC-10s, a Deagle, and an AK-47. Good shot from Chris J, though. He has been electric throughout this tournament as well. Takes down the first shot, and this is Sunny coming to life. Five on three. Sloppy stuff from space soldiers, and this is looking quite the convincing round from Mouse Sports here. Major will get one back as Alex has dropped. One player remaining, 81 HP. This could be the beginning of the end. Mouse Sports now going to be fired up from that round. Major underpass. You're right, that is LMBT. My mistake. I knew that. He was more pumped up than anyone else on Mouse. He, he turned round and uh, really let out quite the scary scream. I haven't seen him like that for a small man. Like he's yeah, no, he's got a pipe on him. Major. B3 HP, survives, gets a kill, but now sports have certainly turned this on its head early. This game decides the predictions of our analysts as well. It'll be either YNK or DDK to take over the lead. I lost on Gambit. So it's between those two for the win. Okay. Well, that's uh, another story together. Major, definitely not anything with this round. It's very hard. 20 seconds, Robs finishes things off. Good work by Mouse Sports, a double orb setup. We'll be out in full force. It was Oscar and Chris J to find initial kills there. Like I said, I do consider them the strongest team. In terms of firepower, Space Soldiers are right up there with them. And on their day, they can take down anyone, as they've shown in this tournament. But some key mistakes. That B rush could be one that comes back and haunts them. AK-47s for the CTs, just one. I thought they collected another, but not meant to be. And it has to be the full Econ Alpha Space Soldiers. It'll be CZs, blocks, and no armor. A couple of flashbangs, and they'll see if any CTs will push up towards him and try and get a cheeky kill there. But our sports playing this correctly, just holding up, watching every choke point, Sticko to patrol towards B. This heads hello to Major. Doesn't give him a chance to take him down. Just watches the window, make sure he can't commit towards the site. Go will hold off smoke down. Slightly shallower smoke than the other one that you could throw from the top of the garbage, but it still suffice. It goes to the inside of the doorway. Bit of a gap toward the truck or the van, if you will. The cube van, the paddy wagon. Good hold. Chris J is well already on the catwalk, and they are just rummaged inside of the site. Bomb not even planted. That was the intention of the entire play. But they'll get guns again. 3 2, Mouse Sports take the lead. Yep, getting more as they come in the B side. No plant coming in. It was quite close to going down at that point. About one more second would have yielded some sort of success for Space Soldiers. But a gun round comes through. WP, though, on the Space Soldiers side. Okay, just watching the bombs are there. Nothing too flat. Just denies a couple of kills. Our bomb doesn't go down. Kallax will be disappointed with that. And extra money for the team going to run up a six here. AKs and looks like a set piece here. This is quite common. Four players towards the A side of the map. That's smoke for the steps he's lining up. Kallax throws a flash towards middle first. Now we smoking towards jungle. Steps, CT spawn. Another flash towards middle. Just a good matchup. And here comes the play. In terms of the setup for mouse boards, they have Rops in front of the A ramp looking to fight. Aggressive, of course. He will fall back and drop a nice one. 
good shot. Calix, Oscar gone. He got major back. It was dead in his sights. It would have been hard to have missed, but a great treat. His stream is on the edge of the smoke, and it could have easily faded back at CT. Left things very strong in the post plant. The retake. I knew he was going to stay at Sandwich. He's low, 20 HP, but he can afford to play for the information at this point in time. They've already cleared toward the top of Connector. So very passive, and Calix has the time. He's got three teammates and Engine staying alive as well to rotate all the way around. Paz takes out Sunny. Stick O versus two. Knows where one is and only one. I'm sure he's going to suspect at this point in time that Calix has rotated around. Doesn't even matter. Even if he wants out of the site, he gets shut down. Nice work by Space Soldiers there. The smoke's deployed. Trading frags effectively. Bomb gets planted. And the CTs can't really do much about it. Ends in a two versus one with Sticko. has got too much to work with in terms of a player at a ramp, a player at a connector, a bomb to defuse, and it's just out of his reach, unfortunately, for him. 3-3. Three, three. Money's still available from our sports, but not much at all. European and the Sticko. They do have two orbs still, but this will be the final buy if they do lose this round. Jin brings up the MAC-10. And that's actually quite an interesting buy, considering they've got three players on the Mass side of our helmets. MAC-10 becomes a lot more powerful. Chris J knows it, looking to get the first pick. This is a cool position for him. And he's not going to all day long. Sunny will take some damage there towards middle. And Chris J misses another sit-up. Two players in front of him. Very, very good at that style, but can't make them connect just yet. Underpass, Mac 10 in hand, smoke still above him. Yeah, we knew this game was going to be closer than the last two. I thought all three were going to be close. I thought on paper we had a great series of matches. So far, only two teams have really played. Yeah, both of the opening games. They were good in terms of the individual performances we saw from the winning teams, but in terms of great counter strike and an exciting matchup, not so much. This one, though, yes, you're right. Should be very close indeed. Hard-hitting teams, lots of skill on the server. 50 seconds remaining now. Sends the mouse sports setups to stick her alone in B. Oscar, been one of the star players of mouse sports for quite a while now. Finds the opening pick, takes down Zanteras. Buys with the Atmos Pac-10, it's going to do damage against the unarmored heads. Pass answers back, and Oscar fighting up close and personal. Oh. Can't land that shot. I thought he had that. I thought he got there quick enough. The boards land sooner than oh. his aim. Rops! Edge of a smoke. Calyx down. Mouse Sports win yet another. They'll take the lead. 4 3. Yep. Grabbed by Rops. Carried over. Oscar will very much welcome that back in his hands. He's looking almost, I think, a little bit disappointed he didn't hit that second shot, even though the pressure was on. Yeah, he's a very emotional player. He likes to be top I think of the scoreboard. In internalizing almost yeah, though, that's emotionally. Fine. Yeah, he didn't want to he didn't want to let it all out. Play. He's just like, yeah, okay, we won the round. I could have done a bit better. What is this for Chris J? He's got the Nova out. Now that's an interesting pick. Blaze to be bomb site. Kind of reading they're gonna be low on money, but they've got armor and stuff, but Nova's not gonna be a great purchase here. We haven't that's probably the first Nova purchase the entire tournament. I'm not hundred percent sure of that, but I would put myself on the line and say that's quite the possibility. Let's see if it finds any sort of success here. He might be tested. Sunny suddenly well down he goes, courtesy of Major. Chris J has a chance now. Will this Nova do anything, Matt? This is one gets nothing. I know how do why he buys that. This could all fall apart. Stick it with up USP. Down he goes. A real ropey buy from Space Soldiers. Looks like it'll find great success. Three players survive. And Chris J. Shotgun was in that round. When was the last time the farmer had to get his gun? Indeed. 4-4. Four, four. This is going to be a brawl. Zontaras drops the off back over to Major. Thank you very much for giving that back. Oscar won't have it this time. Money gone. That's how honest this game has been kept. Look at this from Paz. Lovely stuff. What, that season. last bullet. Indeed. Well, that money was amazing from our sports, and that's reflected right now. They will be all in. Round number nine, 4-4. Four, four. Scouts out. UMP for Sunny. I've got Deagles as well. Space Soldier's looking to take the lead here. I'm very interested by that Chris J. Bye. I think he assumed they were going to be full eco. He's going to have some fun. A force ball. Completely bamboozle him. Number nine, Oscar. There's some backup from Chris J. Faces towards middle. He might get one, but not even that. Chris J. will have to try and strike back with the scouts. But I'll fall back, knowing that the AK crosshairs are looking towards him. Major this time with the AWP. Zontaras. But two miss thrown smokes towards middle. Yeah, I didn't think I, that second one did miss. I thought it landed. You're right. It absolutely. Two missed. of them towards middle. They give up on it, boys. Let's go. Another one. Come on, land this one. Here we go. 
Way in it goes. Basically done. Well, shouldn't affect the round outcome too much, but certainly makes things a bit uncomfortable. A bit of bickering going on, perhaps. Can't land one of the more simpler smokes. 40 seconds remaining is Antares. Absolute beast. In terms of the casual one-on-one -on -one duels, gets the best of this time by the scout. Finds it, Sonny's got the pass down. You said it wouldn't dictate the outcome, or outcome dictated by that, you know what I mean. It doesn't, you're right. It has nothing to do with middle, but it's still shut down. Mouseport's again about to buy, or win on a ropey buy. It'll be the third time this game, and already Major's giving up on the fact that they're going to even have a chance in it. He just wants to get rid of the op and run away. 13 seconds, he'll go down. He's doing it. And LMBT's loving it. He is, he's fired up. And uh, yeah, Space Soldiers, those smokes, and it was towards me they went, but oh, what a, Poor, but the B-bomb tie has not been successful at all for them. It's one by one. No real pressure by the Christian. No one's getting out. Like, you want to be getting out quickly of that window, jumping out together with a flashbang, maybe a couple of smokes towards the arch and get out as a unit. But that was clumsy, I think is the best way to describe that. Now, forced by back. It's a very back and forth game indeed. The Eagles, one AK, a MAC-10 for Major, a weapon we've seen quite a lot in the last two maps. And number 10. Major wanted to push through. There's a slight gap there, but I want to be able to use it. Rob's in front of the smoke once more. Dodges a flashback. Sees one come through and will be taken down by Engine. And now they've got a chance. Engine plants the outside of the box. Uh, this is going to jump across. Sees that get aggressive off his way, but he's blind. He could hear him coming, he couldn't do anything about it, so Paz wins the duel, gets the M4 picked up, and Space Soldiers, their turn to win. Don't buy guns this game, Hank. Seem like they're appropriate. Well, the Force buy. Very good for Space Soldiers. Quick game sticker, looking to get the hell out of Dodge here. As they fall back, it will be sticker to be dropped towards CT spawn. Chris J. Yeah, this is uh, highlighting the back and forth aspect of the game so far in the last four rounds. No one being able to build up an amazing amount of momentum. And this one indeed ties up a 5 5. Presumably, Mass Sports will have to make a decision here. They've got $2,000 on Oscar, Sunny $1,400. Sticker, Robs, and Chris J can buy. Do they opt for it though? Chris J saving the AK 47, remember, he can drop. And M4, that's why they'll take the tactical timer. I'd assume they would. It, it's not the best of buys. If Rob's had 50 more bucks, he could actually drop the AWP, but that's not going to be possible now. We'll have a look at the scoreboard while we're here. 11 kills for Major. What a game he's had. He kicked things off that amazing entrance to the B-bombs out on the pistol. Managed to clutch it out two versus one as well. Engine six and seven. At the bottom is Calix, three and seven. As I mentioned, one of the star players of Space Soldiers. Oscar at the very top for Mouse Sports, so 10 kills, 8 deaths. Beneath him, Sticko, 8 and 7. Sunny, quiet game from him so far, 5 and 8. We'll follow that closer to half time, see who steps up here. No team running away with this. We are just joining us. It's the final map of the day. It decides our final legend. One spot remains. Mouse Sports, certainly the favourites coming into this matchup, but Space Soldiers have got them on the ropes. Indeed, force into this. 5 5 T side, certainly not bad either. Chris already down to watch the underpass. He has to get out of there some quick time or push all the way through. He's got to make the decision because Major has already taken his support away from the window. He has to wait, Chris, to get someone else in connector. Timer on the play. Not much he can do to control his own fate. Again, aside from try and push all the way around through the underpass, get to the apartments on a chance that they aren't occupied. They still don't know that he's here. It's the one saving grace in this. But yeah, he is going to push through. He knows that mid's lost. There's no chance to get it back. They can't get any presence inside a connector. He could turn it back now, however, because they've gone to a connector. He is. So he's going to try and show up late. He's been trying forever to go unnoticed. He gets one kill. Has to know they're getting close. Doesn't matter. Oscar is going to take downs on Towers. That's going to buy Chris space. And somehow they come out with the win in middle despite having no information for the longest amount of time. Chris's patience pays off, goes down to a five versus three. Bomb will head toward the A side as well. Not over just yet, the nades come through. Space Soldiers definitely have the potential to land some AK headshots here. They don't even have those as the M4s and the Famas, so it's gonna be a little bit of a tall order. Pass down the very low HP indeed. Chris J tentatively wasting his phone, is trying to buy as much time as he possibly can. A good flashbang, but not enough. Oscar waiting towards shore, finds engine. And look at this play, boosting in CD spawn for anyone to make a mistake and just inspect that area. That'll allow them to plant 
almost. Chris Jade's going to be in the care. He'll be the sacrifice and try and stop him doing that. Lots of time being for him. And that should be the round. Lovely work by Oscar there. With the rifle in hand, he manages to pick up four kills in total. He's known as an AWPA, but don't get me wrong, he is a very proficient rifler as well. There's only a few AWPAs in the game that can be world-class with both weapons, and he's certainly one of them. As we go into round number 12 here, the back and forth gameplay continues. Three AKs, Kalex can't afford much more than a Deagle armor. Is that what he goes for? Hasn't purchased anything yet. Maybe he's got something on the floor waiting for him. He doesn't. CZ armor. One flashbang. Certainly a force by. Look at the grenade situation. Almost nothing. I'll have one smoke to execute on the A bomb. So that's why they focus more on the palace area. He can be flashed out of the position. Get Major out there first and try and find three unarmored heads. Rops, Sunny, and Chris J. Look out for them. A little bit more squishy. And the Mac 10 find them. Good shot. Sunny Burns on Tara's back, though. So all comes level. Engine. Rops trades that back. So still we sit level. A site, the occupation, or at least the plan for space soldiers. They want to go for the plant open side of the box. Manages to do so with no one watching over towards CT. Just does it on a whim. The damage enough to keep Rops at bay. Chris will clear connector. All three. Gonna play toward A main. Calix, I don't think, will rotate around this time. Doesn't have the time, nor does he have the gun. This is more like him now. I'm enjoying this game. Space Soldier showing a lot of heart here, and all that executions. Paz keeping the dream alive, but not for long. Two on two now. Engine and Kalex have to do everything they can. Kalex just waiting to try and deny the defuse. Can he do it? He's gonna have to pull up an eye foul with Engine gets to it first. Great work by Space Soldiers. Three AKs, a Mac 10, and a CZ. A very basic execution. Almost no grenades brought to the party there, but the flashbang was decent. They find the entry, the upgrade to a rifle, and Kalex and Engine can finish things off there. Surely Mouse Sports will allow themselves to recover financially, but they've got three and a half thousand dollars on Sunny, fourteen hundred on Chris J. The other three sit at $4,000. So a timeout will be called. This is what I was looking for today. In round number five, both teams being tested. No one getting comfortable. In the last seven rounds, no one's strung together no, two. That's actually ridiculous. What a brawl. Yeah, absolutely. Good word for it. An absolute brawl. Mouse Sports will force by, and it'll probably work out. One team just trying to break the serve at the moment. Force the other onto an eco. That's the aim of the game. Mouse Sports by comes in. Two M4s, one for Mass. UMP, Chris J on the Deagle. Watch out for that. He can be quite the demon of that weapon. Boost himself up. He'll have to get the hell out of there. They spot him. Major. Looking good, but not for long. Paz. Trading frags. They have to leave for now. Four versus three as they assert their dominance towards middle. CT's tried to get stuck in there. They managed to get one, but that's not going to be enough as the A split will come through. Kalex to lead the charge from the palace area. Smokes towards jungle. Rops the last line of defense. Can he find anything here? The star player of Mouse Sports needs to find headshots. Packs off the angle. Wants to stay alive as well as anything. Especially in a three versus four. They're gonna push a flash, just turn him away. He dodges them. Gives Antares the edge, the jump. Rops goes down. Good timing from Space Soldiers as a result. Stiko and Oscar, all that is left now as well on the defense and looking to save. They're gonna back all the way off. Money still gone. This will be the first, as you said, in seven rounds that a team has won back to back consecutively. Thank you, DJ. There we go. Paz, he shakes and said yes. We go to Paz. Paz is shaking and said no. So you're not. No, thank you, DJ. Four on two. <laughs> Sticko and Oscar finally have to submit. This will signal, for, I think, for the first full eco. Apart from the one, Mouse Sports one, of course. That's where the match began. Seven six. Separating these two teams. The problem is, this will be tempting to force by from our sports. The M4 and Oscar's hands to kill the UMP. They force bought into this, though. They will have nothing for the final round. What's the play? Time will tell. Are you keeping Chris J. Sunny and Robson for Eco? They pretty much are. Two PT 50s is all they bring to the party here. Smoke towards the middle. Come to Chris J. Sorry, Oscar and Sticko. They will be actually. Playing aggressively in the middle. The M4. 
chance to go all the way to B because it's a full AK. Round three went up. Save the weapon. Deeper moment off towards you. You're right. He's six looking like for space soldiers. It could start. On T side, you said it as well. Going against them on Mirage, they're very good on Mirage. And you're right, I, after what we saw from the Mouse Sports lineup at the end of last year, you would have thought top eight was easily on the cards for them. And best of threes, I think, would favor them out over top of Mouse Sports. But Space Soldiers are looking to match that of QBF in their first major. What a story that was. So, saving weaponry for round number 15 is the aim of the game here. You say that like it's over. That story's just beginning, Henry. <laughs> It can't, surely. Well, congratulations to them. It's unbelievable the, the success they've had. Everyone thought Vega would be the team to shut everyone down, but QPF has done it under the radar. It's the half victory for Space Soldiers confirmed. We saw this at the last major. Some teams like, get too fired up sometimes, and it can be what counterproductive. You get too fired up and like trying to get stuck into the other team and give the war cries. I like what Space Soldiers are doing right now. They're calm. When they're winning rounds, they're keeping their head in the game. They don't want to make any more mistakes. No more blunders. Keep the calls calm. Make sure you concentrate. Don't want to be focusing on cheering too much. And they're keeping themselves very disciplined over there. Final round of the first half, ladies and gentlemen. Three orbs on the T side of Mirage. Have you ever seen anything like it? I'm going to go and check the T-spawn. Now they've got any AKs waiting for them. They do. have got three AKs in T-spawn. I can confirm. So they'll go and upgrade to one of those. Oscar and Chris J might not give them the chance, though. As Hazards and Terrors go down. Bomb just sitting at his feet. Not a bad way to, to go about things. Getting aggressive toward the apartments. Major will at least recover. They'll go back around with engine. WP. Weird move to make on the final round. Three orbs. You get punished for the aggressive play from the CTs. Yeah, T side especially. Yeah, no. That's ridiculous. Class it's 9. It was, it was Dust 2, game, sure. That was very different. It was yeah. Dust 2, I love it. But, alright, no. Dust 2, back next major or not? Yes. All right, 100%. what's gone? I hope, I have a cobblestone on Nuke, maybe maybe Nuke. I think it, just based on play statistics, it's probably going to be Nuke. Yeah. But after watching them again, we played the T side, unfortunately they're gone now, but the way they played the T side to start the tournament off, my goodness, there's so much more available to that map. Speaking of availability. I'm not available, Henry, stop asking. <laughs> it will be Calix to try and crack open as a bomb site and see what's available to him. As he walks towards Shadow, you can see another player waiting for him. That's Robs. Flying in the way, but he strikes just after his teammate goes down. Frozen and Sentry towards Connector. Mouse Sports have the lead, looking for 8 7, but still, Major is alive and he has been deadly. This double orb setup, this is a blunder from Space Soldiers. The five right was working so well, and the one AWP was enough. They go for three in the final round. Another bad call there. It's just as I credited them for their discipline they've shown so far, there was absolutely no need for that. And they get. Taken down, here's the Chris J push. They actually had Zantera's waiting towards that underpass position. Chris J bests him. Oscar takes some pass with the AWP, then they were left in a really tricky situation there. Bit of sustenance over Chris J, a protein bar. Keep his head in the game. My Uber driver gave me a sea salt peanut butter bar mix today. It was delicious. Sounds nice, actually. I like the sea salt and chocolate combination. Yeah, it was really, really good. It was, I forget what it was called. Should have remembered. But to Jeff, parentheses, William, thank you very much. Of course, I gave him a four star and no tip, but that's fine. No, I'm kidding. Well, that said, we've got our two minutes at half. That will likely be occupied. 8-7, Mouse Sports T side being aggressive. Managed to win the half, so pressure on, or excuse me, Space Soldiers win the half. So pressure on Mouse Sports trying to pick up the pistol immediately. So, Chris J., Another interesting storyline when it comes to majors, Matt. He actually hasn't made a playoff yet either. And That's you can see the, consent, the streaks of group stage exits are quite strong right now. Skadoodle did have eight, but he has advanced. Chris J, seven. And Shox, six. It's unbelievable to think Shox, he had that many, right? Nico with five, he has advanced. And Chris J is the last remaining member of this squad. And a lot of those with Nico. One of them with FaZe last time, the catalyst for change. A lot of those, he was Chris J's teammate on Mouse Sports. Indeed, that's a very good point. So, wow. yes. Chris could be the last not to make it. It's not the best club to be part of. No, it's really not. It's like being Ricardo Patrese in Formula One. That's what I was going to say. You got there first. So many races and no victories. I don't think... Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Well, they'll take the full two minutes here. Ladies and gentlemen, this half is it. Who will be taking the very final spot? Another legend will be discovered after this. It's 8-7.
in favour of Space Soldiers right now. In terms of the scoreboard, Oscar at the top, 17 kills for him. Sunny at the very bottom, seven. At the top of Space Soldiers is Major, of course. Great game from him at the bottom of that is going to be Calix. Is the comparison for you right now. Major and Chris J, the in-game leaders of either side. Chris hasn't had the most electrifying games, some big misses with the AWP as we get into it. Very important pistol, I'm sure you're aware. The gravitas of this round. Four sets of armor. Chris, as you the in-game leader, normally has the utility. Throws a smoke, flashbang to go in, and then we'll be committed towards the A site. It's funny. Good shot. Mark his way in. Ross wow. takes on Tara. Wow. Ross takes Calix. Paz behind fire is going to be taken down. Sunny with the kill. Major with the only kill so far in return, but they push into engine. Engine's got an angle. Very little HP left. The engine's out of gas. But Stiko inside of the connector gets shot out by Major. That's going to give them a chance back in. Two versus two. Bomb is planted. You can see it at the top. So the kit becomes the issue. Engine's the one with it. He didn't have the armor. Part of the reason he got tagged so considerably early on. Rob spots Major pushing. Flash in. Rob has to go all the way around the corner. Still blind. Major doesn't commit to it. Because I don't have one. To be honest, I'm not sure why. But they get the hold anyway. They had the kit. Rob gets there late. I think he's just wanting to body block him as much as possible. Like to say, if you can't kill me, did he have any bullets in there? It's difficult to tell, but it was a really interesting move. Either way, they do pull it off. Robbed with so many kills there. And Major, yeah, he knows his team is defusing. It's an awkward angle there. If he can just block him as long as possible, I guess. It's true. If he dies immediately, he just runs him down. So yeah. Yeah, it's possible. But like, he might have run out of ammo as well. I don't know. Maybe he didn't have a chance to reload. He's just like, oh, the knife left. I'll body block him. Buy myself another half second. That could be it. And it was. So fair play. Under pressure. Maybe we can get uh, some information as to whether we had any bullets left or not. Either way, we'll get into 9-7 now. The bomb goes down from our sports, so they won't force by here, but Robs does get two kills, so he gets the body armor. They're going for AKs in the third. Very tight position, you can see. A couple of rifles coming out for Space Soldiers, preparing for those AKs in the third round. No MP9s, UMPs, certainly viable in gun rounds. Eagle for Sunny. That was looking so good for our sports there. Robs with the entry kill with two. The P250, that's why it's purchased, of course, has the one tap potential, similar to USP. A little bit more difficult to handle in terms of the taps, but. Nice kill. Sony gets taken down and pass. Follows it to stick go. Tares, Major, Space Soldiers. Adding up the rounds. Number 10. Could be just as likely we have a brawl on this side of the map as well. We swapped things over. Our last half in Atlanta before tomorrow. A one-way ticket to Boston, Hank. One way in. Will you sit beside me on the plane? Well, yeah, Richard told me earlier he wouldn't sit next to me, so it's going to have to be. You're my second choice. Please sit beside me so I don't have to sit next to Richard. <laughs> You're my second choice. So, yeah, that's fine. Second choice it is, then. Wow. That's still pretty good. Second choice, not bad. Ah, uh, second sucks. Jason's third. So. Second is the first loser. If you're not first, you're last. <laughs> well, we get into this a buy from Mount Sports. This is the one I was interested for. With the bomb plant in the pistol. They're not wasting any time here. Sunny gets straight towards CPL. Nice little play with the smoke towards connector. Robs with another great kill here. Isn't that the most success in the round? The terrorist dodges the bullets. He goes down to 6 HP, but he gets stick out equal treatment there. Still the man who here lies with the terrorists. Sunny, great work. Hold CPL strong. They need this. Mouse Sports have had a crushing victory, or crushing defeat today. Remember, they were 13-2 up against QB Fire. And it all went horribly wrong. Yeah, imagine being that close against the biggest underdog in the event. And the now team no one even backs... bothered talking about before the tournament. Oh, and now your backs are against the wall. Yeah. That's I remember team. looking up the, the team list before I came here, because over Christmas I just basically put CS out of my mind and going, oh, QBF, I'll look at them a little bit, thinking I'll see them for three games at the qualifier. Yeah. That's all. No, not a big deal. Now I'm like, Whoa, hang on. Well, this is looking like Space Soldiers will just indeed save. It was Rops and Sunny to find early kills. I love that tactic, though, from Mouse Sports. They completely dissect middle, smoking towards the window area, smoke on the CT side of connector, one in front of Shaw, flashes through. CTs have no vision what's going on. Sunny just forces his way in, with not slowing down whatsoever towards CPL. Gets in there, holds up. Rops finds the entry kill, forces a reaction. Sunny is in CPL. They have no idea. He finds the next kill. They get in towards B. 
that is a very cool way to split the B-bomb site. Sunny, there's a couple more here. Oh, if he gets that kill, that's huge. Takes Kallax down to 6 HP. That's fine him going down. That's not a big deal. We only have the UMP. But yeah, that defeat earlier after being 13-2 up. How do you recover from that? Time out for Space Soldiers here. They've got money. They've got a UMP on M4. 6k in Paz. Similar story for Major. Tactical time for Space Soldiers, just to confirm. And discussing all their players here. They are on the CT side of Mirage. All this discussion suggests to me they will go aggressive. There's not really much discussion that has to be done on the CT setup. Usually, as a team, you have maybe three, possibly four, default setups that you like to run that revolves around the Orpa. If you're discussing it in depth that much, I would suggest they're going for an aggressive pick somewhere. Maybe flashing over a ramp, pushing towards underpass. We'll see what they decide to do. The lack of the orb dictates they might have to find an early kill. Let's have a look on the new map on my PC. We'll see if we can work it out. Santeres. He'll sit in towards jungle. No one pushing necessarily just yet. They've gone for a four-man stack on the A-bomb side. So that's the play this round. Changing things up. It's quite rare to see four players at the very start of the round get stuck in like this. And it's a similar sort of smoke from Sunny. Finds some success once again. Allows him to look towards connector with a strong angle there. Takes down Paz. So Sunny to hold inside of the smoke. But now he's pulling back the last round. And having the advantage in this one, we're certainly set to go the distance. All the rounds, as you would say, Henry. All the rounds. I think we'll see them all today. A fitting way to close up this stage of the tournament. Five on four. Chris J poised in the B apartments. Look at major spot, though. Yeah, I like that position. It's so scary to play there. Knowing that players could just walk past you without checking it. Or they can come pre-fire. You do need someone to bait you in, ideally. Jump. They haven't checked it. Why well, not check it? Two, three. Three will be enough. Oh, they turn around. He's got two. He almost had them all in his sights. They still pull it back because Sonny has gotten toward the window and in doing so takes away the rotation to connector, or excuse me, to checkers. So one, one in the sight directly, bomb included, going on the attack in Oscar's hands against Zontara. Sonny still rotating in from catwalk and engine, taking his time to get through CT. Cautious and cognizant of the fact that Sonny was last spotted toward the vent, so he can't just rush by and expect to be undetected. And everyone's gonna converge and convene roughly at the same time, or are they? Because Oscar gets on Taras and Engine actually started looking back through the direction in case they weren't going to go B any longer. So he now has to pull this back for Space Soldiers. He's inside of the site. Spots one, can't do it. Oscar's got the shot. LMT is extremely motivated tonight. He really is. He's loving it. No real words coming out of his mouth, just noises. I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. The energy on this side of the room is electric. There he is in your screens right now. He's the one making all the noise. The team's not. And that's what the coaches are supposed to do, right? They're trying to fire their team up and get them in the game. We've seen a lot of coaches act like that in this tournament so far. I think the most notable one was Kassad and Renegades, you remember, standing in a similar position behind his team. They were very quiet when they looked out of the game. He picked them up by screaming with every kill and trying to get them back into it. So that's what the coach should be doing. Fully can now for Space Soldiers. He's on Terrace. One of the deadlier players on Space Soldiers. Sits towards the glass. He'll be finding that shot, I'm afraid. Good position from Oscar. Takes him down. He's to find the second. Takes a dink in the process, but still alive. Five on three. Five on three. One round between them. 10-10. A possible scoreline. Remember, if Mouse Sports win, DDK wins our predictions. That's more important than their spot at the major. <laughs> if Space Soldiers win, it's YNK that wins it. And, well, you already know the story, really. The one that matters, either team, the victor moves on. This round should be pretty quick. And then we get back into standard formation with guns to be brought up for Space Soldiers. Alex can't do anything at range with the pistol. Rops to take him down. Rops has been impressive again. His second major now. Yeah, it's looking great. Imagine Mouse Sports with Nico could never make it out, but without, they might. They should be there already, really, considering a disastrous game against QBF. But still, if they just make it at this point, they'll be happy with that. 10-10. I 
did say in the pregame, double digits on either side, very likely we've made it that far. All the rounds will be played. All for Major. We'll have four rifles. Full array of AK-47s on the mouse ward side. All the grenades. Plenty of residual cash. That's the they coming into this round. Oh, Miss Smoke, man. hate ridiculous. to see that. Not at this level. Can't happen. Well, now, we saw a space soldiers do the same thing. See what happened right here. So he hit Sunny. Luckily, they stay alive. That's that should be smoked. That now, should be happening. The, the good news is now that they've gotten toward the boxes, they should be able to get that in again. Yeah, there it is. It lands. But yeah, we've saw both. It happened. We've seen both teams. Sunny tagged. You're right. Paz gets the kill. That's a misplay. It didn't cost space soldiers in the first half when we saw them miss it twice. Calix is going to sit on balcony. You're still shaking your head, Hank. It's just it, this is such a frustrating for time for it to happen. That should be a smoke that's a lock-in. If you're throwing that smoke, it's a difficult one to throw. It should be happening every single time. It should be landing. But uh, if you lose the game because of a smoke like that, you're so gutted as Calix finds a second frag. Chris J will be dropped. Rob's fighting back there. What a player he is turning out to be. No HP, though. He'll find anything else he can. And he is nailing shots. So he's in as well. Three versus two. Second kill of the round. Robs to look towards CT stairs. He's got 13 HP. Misses the first shot. Wants to go back out for a little bit more, but can't quite get the angle. He is gone. Nice throw from Major. Speaking of Boston and the Bruins and Tom Brady, the pitcher for their Red Sox team. That's pretty good. As Engine tries to spray back through the boxes, it's smoked off bomb. Stiko smoked off as well to cover off a bit from connector. Stiko's going to try and go toward the vent. I hate seeing him crawl through this vent. Late in the retake, Stiko shows us exactly why. And this should be the advantage. Mouse Sports engine versus two. A kit to play with, but no smokes to work with. And I don't think he's realized there's a player that's working around behind him. And Oscar's got the kill. LMBT's losing his vocal cords. <laughs> he's going to have no voice left for Boston at this rate. Can we just get a compilation of him at the end yelling nice? Yeah, I think we might have to. Well, it's a space soldier's timeout. Is the grenade coming through to Rops? I think you see all the bullets flying around him, but the nade is the one that takes him down. Now sports take the lead. It means a lot to the coach. And I think we have to have a space soldier's eco here. Not that that's been unsuccessful for many teams that this made it so far. Ecos, even full ecos can yield success from time to time. Time out though. Chance to calm down. And so we'll see. What space soldiers bring to the table here in round number 22? CZs, PT50s, Calix and Paz will be purchasing body armor. Will it be enough? I don't think so. CZs, three of those. We'll see if they can maybe push in towards underpass. Really many options in terms of stacks. Play a both default round, two at eight. Two of B and now zero of middle as Antares gets taken down by Oscar at the very start of the round. So, with that, Mouse Sports take control on the attack. Major has pushed up toward the kitchen. It's not much of one, but it has the essentials a microwave. Major gone down, however, no hot pockets for him. J to find the frag. I mean, this wasn't really an investment for Space Soldiers. They know they have enough for the next round. Max Ross bonus, in fact. Engine will get one frag. That's going to be Ross. And Galax finds a second. What's happening here? It's all starting to fall apart. Three on three now. Just Jay to rotate back around. Oh, good call there. Head toward B. This is, gets them out of dodge. You're right, because it did start to fall apart, but they had just enough space to get away from it. There's no need walking into the pistols. Desperate rotation trying to continue on with good form and salvage what they started, but Oscar's already got engine in rotation. Paz knows they planted the bomb, but Chris, great shot on the AK. And it's just Calix, and he's going to back off. He's got armor, and there's a few guns available over toward A, so he'd likely rather grab one of those and get away. He's got a cross connector to do so. Great call from Mouse Sports, I have to say. Knowing you've given up the AKs on that side of the map, why not go towards B? You know, the AKs are there. It's going to take a long time to retreat. You've got a smoke, chuck in the connector, get up towards shore. There's nothing they can really do. And you even take down those rotating players in transition towards the B bomb site. Calix will be the last player remaining. He's only got a CZ, and he's looking for anyone exiting towards shore. He'll definitely get some action here. I doubt he gets a kill. If he does, he won't even find the weapon. Looks towards Chris J. Didn't he have time to get it? Oh, he does. 
Picks it up. Manages to get an AK. Well played. 12 10. Now Swords come one step closer. That was Oscar with a pretty easy pick by his standards at the start. Took down engine as well as he was coming towards our B site. Great shot. Space soldiers with another tactical time, but they have one more remaining here. Canix did save the AK. They can definitely buy into this round. You know, the stats for you in terms of ADR, it's Oscar presenting another fantastic game in this tournament. He's currently got 24 kills, 12 deaths. Rob's not far behind. He's also got a 20 bomb, 13 kills. 11 for Sticko, Sonia 13, Chris J 11. The top of the scoreboard is Major on the Space Soldier's side. 15 for Paz, 12 for Engine, and Kalex and Zantara's on 11. Zantara's normally dynamite on this map. I haven't really seen him turn up as of yet. I haven't seen a big clutch from him. I haven't seen anything too wild. Let's get into round number 23. See if they can do anything with this. We'll see if they can. Oscar on the op, Paz on the same. Two kits, engine. I take that back. Calix actually just bought one, so. Engine's on Taraz, but. Calix in on that as well now. So Chris, aggressive already. Major. AWP flashed it. That's a bit much. Considering they're fully blind, he didn't need to go for a fast flick. He had all day to set up the game. Pass still has the angle set. Major does find one immediately after, but Sticko's traded him off of him. And Sonny can now try and pursue and be successful in the pursuit of the B site. One will be planted. It's still anyone's round. Look at the HP from Outsport. Sticko at five. That same counter boost you saw in the Fnatic game. It'll be Sticko sent up there this time. Smokes are good, though. It's going to be Space Soldiers coordinating themselves with the retake of smoke towards the arches. Molotov on the site, making a flashbang. Sunny won't be affected by it. Sticko has to at least find one kill in his position. Robs can't find anything. Sunny now trying to back up his team. Maybe it might not be enough. Left in a three versus one. 20 HP. Surely this is Space Soldiers round. They haven't had one in so long, but he might be able to deny it. The bomb's ticking away. Looking for the double spray down here. Can't get it. Is there a kill available? There is indeed. Absolutely. Zontera's pulled that in. They just barely got oh. that. Close as you'd like, but Space Soldiers finally get around. First straight up gun round they've had in this half because they've won the pistol and then got to 10 early on. It's been all most sports since then. Five straight. Now that's one for Space Soldiers and five in a row. As most of you playing along at home likely know, is a maximum loss bonus. So that could be reset. And most sports in doing so would be in a fantastic position. Plenty of money for the international squad of mouse sports. AKs, EWP for Oscar. Always a deadly recipe. I believe for now, and Rob's looking to continue here. Great shot to Paz. Completely opens up the map there. That was towards the A ramp, waiting for a player to push and completely railed him. Five and four. Now sports don't have to do anything really. It's a reaction based map. The CTs have to try and reclaim something here, whether it's pushing the B apartments or just leaving it completely open in terms of that side of the map. Chris J and Co coordinate themselves towards mid. Smoking towards that window area. Could boost someone off if they want to. They'll set their boost towards short to look for anyone boosting on the other side. They will get ready with the Molotov. That goes towards CPL. Ninja hits the shot but can't find the kill. Packs off as well. AWP is still in hand. He's getting pressured up close with the op. Tries to just pre-fire back to the smoke. Sticko's gotten up on top of the small canopy, if you will, the tiny roof outside of the window to get an angle toward the vent. Oscar with shot, but it's all gone. Mouse Sports, Oscar follows it, Calix down. Wow! And he'll hit Zontaras, that's the reset. 13-11, LMBT loves it. Close it now, the words from the coach. He knows the money's in the bin for Space Soldiers. They had the maximum loss bonus, they won. A close round on the B-bomb side, two players surviving. That was the shot from Robs. Okay, so he wasn't even defending an aggressive push. That was actually just pre firing the angle for players crossing towards Connector. My God, what a pick it was. And I agree with that MVT. This was the chance to close it out. It doesn't get much better than this. They're looking for 14-11. Just pistols for Space Soldiers here. It's been a great game so far. Best game for round number five for sure. Great CS displayed in the earlier two games, but very one-sided affairs. Tops. Smokes towards the middle. Sticko trying to open things up. He knows he gets his first kill. One step closer to the best of status. Oscar and Sonny will chime in first. Five versus three. Sonny sliding up inside of the middle. The 
Finnish flag. The first Finn inside of our playoffs, our legendary status in a while, because Alu didn't make it with FaZe last time. Neither did Zen from Pensa. It's true. Sprout. As they are now known. Cool. Oscar. See you later. Good turnaround. Engine couldn't even buy a headshot tried. He did give it a go. 14 looking likely. Space Soldiers 8 7 lead as they swap to CT. 10 7 lead. Before Mouse Sports bought back in, Paz just the Deagle to work with. Mouse Sports guaranteed 14 11 at this point. Bomb makes his way towards A. Trying not to make any mistakes here. I like this. It's on the back of Sticker right now. Actually goes towards B, I beg your pardon. Paz will be waiting for the misfort. One. Oscar probably backs off now. <laughs> Let him have that AK. It's absolutely fine. Oh, just take him down the end. Nice work. And there it is. 14-11 comes through. That was the of space soldiers. Can't afford to make any mistakes now. Here's Oscar doing what he does best. He's nailing shots all over the shop. As he gets in towards shore here. Gets the 180. Takes an engine. And he had to silence you. It was a really difficult kill at that range. Last time out now for the Space Soldiers. What a story it's been for them. Their first major. They make it to the round of 16. They fought all the way to round number five to become legends. And now up against it. Backs to the wall. 14-11. Can't make any mistakes at this stage. The buy is going to be difficult. UMP for engine. A couple of M4s. Cadex and Zantara to bring... Same story for Major. Paz, he can drop an AWP. I don't necessarily have a main AWP. Major will use it. Paz will bring it out from time to time. There's the final buy. Now Sports looking to close it. As that MBT said. Smoke towards mid. Looks like a pretty standard round. As we into number 26. Sneak out with a backside flash. They can push out. Smoke down on Cat, they'll push through. Sonny's gonna get inside of it. Gray skies are gonna clear up. Sooner or later, Paz is gonna take advantage of it, at least for now, at the bottom of connector M4 in hand. Sonny getting closer. If he goes, Zontaras is there. What a shot through the edge of the box. He doesn't even have to expose himself to Zontaras. That's a great angle, great find. Smoke down, Zontaras can do nothing of it. That's a huge. Take no reach Ooh. raid coming in, but a headshot is Sonny has to just walk away now. Major, one of the key players of Space Soldiers, looks towards shot. Guaranteed kill. There it is. Oscar can't find the quick scope. Sticko, he'll make up for it though. He had the bomb. Lucky to stay alive. Four on three now. Still a minute to work with. Zontaris rotates towards B. And is the correct call. That's where Mouse are heading. Now it's a chance to show up. He is certainly the star player of this team. He has to find some kills here. Four on three alone. Takes down Sticko. It's going to be the bomb. Still a two on two. Up to Calix now to try and deny match point, Matt. He's in towards our window. 30 seconds remaining. The bomb is still towards Shaw. They don't have a smoke to take him out of his position. Calix, though, doubting himself, looks away for one second. Flashbang comes through. Can he find that shot? He can't. That's going to make things very difficult indeed. The plant will go down. Calix will jump out of the window. Has to find two targets here. Calix trying to swing. Into a position. Van, easy shot. Sunny weak. Calix takes Rops. 14 12. They're back into it. Whew, and they're game. responding with a little bit of emotion of their own. Beautiful stuff by Calix there. Very calm. Very young player as well. Never really played on the big stage. And here he is, fighting for a legend spot at the major. 14 11 down. Wins a massive two versus one. That's huge. Well played, gets the defuse in, keeps the hopes and dreams alive for Space Soldiers. Remember, they're on the CT side right now. One player surviving, your money's already very weak. Still going to be a troublesome time for them here. If they win the next round convincingly, they're back in this game. As you can see, UMPs come out, engine and powers to be wielding those. Major, AWP. Zantaris hasn't had the best game so far. We haven't seen much of, in terms of aggression with the CTs. They haven't really had much to work with in terms of... Natural money, a bankroll to justify the risk. Yeah, Santaras, there we go, through the smoke. He finds Sticko at an early five on four. Comes in their favor. We're not done here just yet. 
Ooh, sorry, that's a brave free peak. My goodness. Lucky to be alive. Taurus is going to sneak up, smoke down, what? sprays in, hits Sonny. It was just a guess, but a guess that's correct. Sonny's lucky to be alive. Another bullet, and he was dead and done. Zontarez is going to elect to play in the window still. He would have got a sound cue. He got that dink in as well. See his go over, you hit the head. Was it a dink or two body shots? It might have been, so I'm I, not sure. I think it was 16, two body. 16 HP suggested it was a dink, but I didn't. Obviously, in the smoke, I didn't quite see. Spots the foul. Oh, does he? He does. Takes it down. A nice little flick. Zontarez with second frag of the round. Five on three. Looking for 14 13. Chris J, though, could be the saboteur in all of this. Lovely Ooh. one tap there. That's beautiful stuff. Might not be enough to win the round as we're left in a four versus one. Rops will have to fall back as the bomb goes down. Oh my goodness. That clutch from Calix seemed to have fired up the space soldiers. They managed to recover weaponry as well. Double orb setup. M4 for Calix engine. Certainly going to have a rifle next round as well. They won't have to hunt for Rops. They know they need to keep everyone alive here. Well, sports will have cash remaining they've got enough for one more buy space soldiers could still still steal everything away so rops 15 seconds he's out of this round just a chance to talk now and work out what next round will bring well 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 Those space soldiers will indeed win the round. Zantara through the smoke at the start. This was the play. Dink sticker at the beginning. We'll make, we might be able to see the second kill as well. You don't see the beginning of it, but he does. Say, yeah. Either way, he seems to be aware of the possibility of a player being up there. Master of the smoke. Indeed. I just like called him out as well for having a quiet game. He pulls that off. Always seems to be the case. Sure, absolutely. Well, that's good. Builds to the narrative. Engine, AWP. Major, AWP. Oscar, AWP. Sonny Mac 10. I'll say quite it as good. one final time. Winner of this game is a legend. Loser goes home. It's a B rush from Mouse Sport. They're getting stuck in here. Jumping orb gonna have to come out. Can Major do anything with this? There's smokes oh. everywhere. Pass to protect him. I don't think it'll be enough, but Major somehow still alive here. Can he find anything more with the AWP? Certainly stuck inside of the smoke. He's trying to stay alive. Oh! He's preserved himself. Sticko on the barrel. Had no idea that he was still in there and was too high to see him coming through. Major on three HP. He's gone finally. Finally, Chris gets him, but Calix with 17 is no better off, and Oscar is able to find that shot. So finally, it falls apart. It is left to engine. Oh, he misses, misses a shot, shot as well. I don't think he expected him to be coming back out from bench. That was bomb. That would have bought him a ton of time. Now he's got to clutch it back. Oscar's still going to be staring at the window as well with the AWP on the T side. And Engines, I think, called it. He has to. This gives up map point to Mouse Sports. It's a tough decision to make, but they don't have a lot of money to go with. So AWP is valuable, and they have to concede. And MBT's not celebrating just yet. He wants to make sure that bomb's definitely going off. It will be match point, legendary point for Mouse Sports here. The B rush yields the success. Some smoke thrown into the mix, some flashbangs as well. It certainly wasn't pretty with Major there dancing around the smoke. He gets two of the AWP. Hold on to your seats. Sports doing everything they can here. This was the play for Major. I don't know how he survived for so long. Great play to do so. Round number 29 begins. I think it's a good play that Engine did save the AWP. It's considered one of the weaker players on Space Soldiers. And with the orb, probably wasn't going to happen for him. He'll be on the CZ. He gives the orb to Major. And now the player performing at his peak to try and make something happen with this. They need this round. Mal Sports one away as they go towards a B rush once again. Can you believe it? Major's flashed off. This wow. could be it, Matt. He's by himself in the B bomb site. The orb goes down, but Zantaras is fighting back. Chris J will get the plant in. There is only one kit available for Space Soldiers. This could be the round that decides it all. Zantaras has enough of the flames down. He wants to cross, doesn't want to take any damage, but he's also smoked at window. Engine has a... Oh, he had a smoke. I thought he had a flash. I was going to say, put that through. Gets on Taurus in position, but he's going to go on his own. Manning up when he needs to. Rops will pull it back and make it more difficult. Calix, he wins the duel on Sticko. That gives on Taurus room to window. But as he goes to peak again, so too does Mouse Sports. It is all on Paz. Tries to defuse. Can't do it. Oscar's got it. And Chris is a legend in there as well. Chris J finally makes it to the playoffs of a major. The final of that horrible club. It seems like they've all advanced this time.
here at the E-League Major. Well 